Please kindly take your seats. The ceremony is about. Sapienza University of Rome for the World Prize for Physics 2021. Award ceremony to Professor Giorgio Parisi. The World Prize is awarded since 1978 to outstanding scientists and artists from around the world for achievements in the interest of mankind and friendly relations among peoples. The scientific categories of the prize include medicine, agriculture, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. The prize art categories include painting and sculpting, music, and architecture. Enter now the Senate Hall, Professor Dan Schechtman, World Prize for Physics Laureate, Nobel Prize for Chemistry, and World Foundation Council Acting Chairperson. Professor Giorgio Parisi, World Prize for Physics Laureate 2021, and Professor Antonella Polimeni, Rectress of Sapienza University of Rome. The next speaker is the Rectress of Sapienza University of Rome, Professor Antonella Polimeni. Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Sapienza University of Rome. Today we are in the Senate Hall of the Rectoral Building to award the Wolf Prize 2021 for Physics to Professor Giorgio Barisi whom I warmly greet and offer my most firm congratulations. My best regard to Ambassador de Sede of Israel, to Italy, His Excellency Droy Dar, to Professor Dan Sexman, winner of the World Prize for Physics and the Nobel Prize for Chemistry, as well as President of the World Foundation Council. To Antonio Zoccoli, President of the National Institute for Nuclear Physics and the representatives of the World Foundation 
present here today. A greeting to the Vice Rector Giuseppe Ciccarone, the Director General Simonetta Ranalli, and the representative of Sapienza. A warm welcome to all those who are following us online. Before earning his prestigious international award, Giorgio Parisi took his first step in the academic world right here at Sapienza University. As a student at the Institute of Physics, graduating in 1970 under the guidance of Nicola Cabibbo, with a dissertation on the X boson. Therefore, it was at uh, this university that Giorgio Parisi's distinguished academic career began. His further merit was uh, that he strongly believed in Italian university and in the real possibility of carrying out excellent research in our country. Professor Giorgio Parisi is in an international reward for his research in statistical physics, field theory, dynamical systems, mathematical physics, and the physical matter, where he introduced the so-called spin glass, of which he has provided numerous applications in other disciplines, such as biology and medicine. As a lecturer at Sapienza, Parisi infused his students with devotion to their profession and a passion for scientific research. Giorgio Parisi's determination has certainly contributed to our Department of Physics reputation as a key player for, for, <clears throat> for the most important scientific results achieved in these years, qualified by the Ministry of University Research as one of the Italy's Department of Excellence. Giorgio Parisi is a scientist who has the privilege to be able to span all fields of knowledge. His studies have had a major impact on many other areas, such as anthropology, cognitive science, finance, biology, and the social science in general, making him one of the most influential personalities on the international scientific scene. He collaborates with the most important Italian and international research bodies and institutes, including National Research Council, the National Institute of Nuclear Physics, l'Accademia dei Quaranta, l'Accademia de Science, the US National Academy of Science, the European Academy, and the American Philosophical Society. Since uh, 2018, he has been president of the Accademia Nazionale dei Lincei, one of the most prestigious and oldest scientific institutions in Europe. Today, Giorgio Parisi will be awarded the Wolf Prize 2021 for physics and the academic community, which I have the honor to represent, thanks him for his commitment, dedication, and genius that he has decided to put at the service of Sapienza, Italy, and the world. Thank you, Professor Parisi. Hearty congratulations. Message of the Ambassador of the State of Israel to Italy, His Excellency Dror Eidar. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Member, Professor Schechtman, the Rector, Professor Parisi, and uh, all the honorable guests here. We have gathered here in order to celebrate a milestone in the life of Professor Giorgio Parisi. His life has been filled with great accomplishments owing to a curiosity that has drawn him to physics and has made it the center of his life. Thanks to this choice and the intellectual challenge it has created, he has become a prolific scientist who has enriched the world we live in. By awarding this prize here at the excellent University of Sapienza, where Professor Parisi has conducted his research and teaching for so many years. We highlight the deep friendship between the peoples of the two nations, as well as the robust and, in engineering, uh, robust and engaging scientific collaboration between Italy and Israel. Just last week, we in the embassy held the annual meeting of discuss, to discuss our, our bilateral research and development agreement. Over the past 20 years, 
13 joint labs have been set up and about 200 joint ventures have been funded by the two, century, by the two countries. We are also partners in the Horizon Euro programs and many other programs. We cooperate in space exploration and of course we have joined forces in tackling the current pandemic. The experts here will talk about Professor Parisi's various discoveries and novel findings but I would like to speak about persistence and imagination, which I believe characterize his work. Persistence is to keep trying to solve a seemingly unsolvable question time and again. Persistence is having many sleepless nights because you cannot let go of some topic. Persistence is to feel shattered because of your failures, only to keep to pick up the pieces and revolutionize a concept to explain a phenomenon. Persistence is to believe that if we try hard enough, at the end of the day, the curtain that hides the mystery will be lifted. Persistence is to understand that even if you have not been able to reach the desired answer, Others will come along and use the trail you have blazed and pick up from where you have left off. As our sages said in the second century, it is not your duty to finish the work, but neither are you at liberty to neglect it. Finally, persist persistence also means not being deterred by brutal criticism of your discoveries. You may reveal something that your uh, uh, contemporaries are unwilling to accept, only to be vindicated a generation later with a Nobel Prize. Professor Dan Shechman can attest to this. And second, imagination. Humanity has always dreamt about breaching the limits of time and space. That is why it has relied on the accomplish accomplishments of science at each given moment. In many cases, the travails of humanity have forced us to look for solutions that we initially perceive as all too simple, only to ultimately realize that they have been so consequential from a historical perspective, having led humanity to embrace a paradigm shift. The theories, discoveries, innovations, and deep insights on our world and the forces of the universe require, above all, an imagination. When we have a barrier in front of us, a problem, a limitation, or a conceptual block, we can overcome them through the power of imagination. Humanity has always dreamt big of going up, up, and away as the poet of Psalms eloquently put it thousands of years ago in the Bible, oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away. It is also a metaphorical aspiration to go above and beyond the known limit of humanity's intellectual capacity. And when I, come, when I came across the fact that the professor has drawn inspiration, among other things, from science fiction. I was very pleased, since we both share this inspiration. We live in a century where information is much more available than in previous centuries. But what makes the difference is how we apply this knowledge, and that is why imagination is paramount. As the prophet Joel said in the seventh century BCE in Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. All great ideas begin with a great inner intellect, a dream, or a vision. Professor Parisi 
is a living exam example of this ancient prophecy. On behalf of the state of Israel, and I believe that on behalf of all humanity and humankind, I would like to say one thing to Professor Parisi. Thank you. Grazie mille. Message of Professor Dan Sheshman, World Foundation Council Acting Chairperson, World Prize for Physics, and Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Dear Professor Parisi, dear Rectress Antonella Polimeni, dear fellow scientists, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Wolf Prize in Physics is awarded to Professor Giorgio Parisi for his groundbreaking discoveries in disordered systems, particle physics, and statistical physics. Congratulations, Mazalto. I'm Dan Schechtman, chairperson of the Wolf Foundation, and with me is Mrs. Serut Yunon Berman, uh, the CEO of the foundation. The Wolf Prize is awarded by the Wolf Foundation for scientists and artists for their achievements and contributions in the interests of humanity and improved relationship among the people in the world, regardless of their religion, gender, race, or political views. With this award, we salute world leaders in the field of science and art for their remarkable achievements and Places, places human excellence as a principal social and educational value, value uh, ultimate goal. Awarding the World Prize is a day of celebration for the laureates receiving the prize, a celebration for the community around them, the university to which they belong, to the country of which they are citizens of, but no less to humanity and to the entire world. The Wolf Prize laureates in physics uh, 2021 is Giorgio Parisi, professor of theoretical physics at the University of Roma, La Sapienza, whose research has focused on quantum field theory, statistical mechanics, and complex systems. Graduated in physics in 1970 under the direction of Nicola um, Cabibo, Parisi's achievements spent many years spend many areas of modern physics, and even the, in the field of biological models. He's an author of many books, articles, and ideas that have spanned up new areas of research. The Wolf Prize in Physics is awarded to Giorgio Parisi for being one of the most creative and influential theoretical physics, physicists in recent decades. His work has large impact on diverse branches of physical sciences, spanning the areas of particle physics, critical phenomena, disordered systems, as well as optimization theory and mathematical physics. Quite an achievement. In 1977, together with Atterali, Parisi um, discovered the evolution equation following to accurately formulating how quarks and gluons are distributed inside the proton and nuclei. They were discovered independently by U.L. Dokschitzer. Parisi's work has indispensable in analyzing the fundamental structure of matter at the smallest possible distance scale done through high energy scattering elementary physics particles. His results have saved, uh, served the, uh, in preparing the, and analyzing the experiments performed at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, for dark matter uh, searches, and are used today in the uh, planning experiments for the future circular collider. In another series of seminal works from 1979 to 1984, Parisians introduced the concept of replica symmetry breaking and applied it to models of spin glass, where no simple order parameter exists. 
His remarkable intuition led him to the discovery of the non-ergodic nature of the frustrated spin glass phase, where many pure states unrelated by symmetry exist with high non-trivial ultrametric structure. Parisi's suggestion of new organization of matter has led to a paradigm shift in statistical physics and many applications followed in other disordered systems such as structural glasses, natural networks, and combinatorial optimization theory. His highly innovative work with Surlas in studying classical phase transition has led to the possibility to identify the actual realization of a symmetry called supersymmetry in condensed matter systems. The prize committee for physics decided that the 2021 prize be, ord be awarded to Professor Giorgio Parisi. Humanity and the whole world won these great groundbreaking uh, discoveries. Distinguished guests, it has been a year since the world was hit by the pandemic. The COVID-19 affected all of humanity. It was a disaster for many of our families, colleagues, and friends. The fact that we gather here today, even in a limited way, is not obvious. This is a further evidence of the importance of science and scientific research. Congratulations to Professor Parisi and to the University of Roma, La Spansia. Thank you very much. The World Prize for Physics 2021 is now awarded to Professor Giorgio Parisi. Acceptance speech by Professor Giorgio Parisi. Well, I am deeply moved by all the kind words that all previous speakers and, and uh, said. I am deeply moved by all the kind words that the previous speaker and told about me. 
Thank you so much to everybody. I am deeply honored by this wonderful prize. I would like to thank the World Foundation and its representatives that are here for their choice. I greatly appreciate the extreme kindness in coming here in my university for this event with a high level delegation. I am extremely grateful to the rectors of uh, the, my university, Antonella Polimeni, for organizing this ceremony together with the Wolf Foundation. I would also like to thank uh, the distinguished guests, starting with uh, Excellency Ambassador Dor Edar and many other friends. I am extremely happy for this uh, recognition that puts me in a prestigious company of people, and which I know very much, starting from Dan Schessman, here present. is the discoverer of quasi-crystals, the scientist who managed to convince a skeptical, if not hostile, scientific community with his great tenacity and persistency. I'm very happy to have brought back this prize to Italy. For about 40 years, since the time of the great Beppo Chiarini, this prize has not been awarded to an Italian scientist working in Italy. Newton said, if I've seen a feather, it is by standing upon the shoulder, shoulder of giants. This is always true. But a great weight is carried by cultural environment where one is formed and works. And for these reasons, I am extremely grateful to Edoardo Maldi and to all, all the other great scientists who, after the Second World War, rebuilt the great school of physics in Italy and particularly in Rome. I am deeply obliged with Nicola Cabibbo, that was already mentioned, who was my mentor. For he had an infectious enthusiasm for physics and he played in many ways an essential role in my formation as scientist. Modern science is a team game. Not only the collaborators are crucial, but a great role is played by the scientist friends to whom you tell what you are doing, where you explain to them half-baked ideas, their questions and observations often point to you the right direction. I have been very lucky. In my long career, I had so many wonderful collaborators. Three years ago, their number was 317. I wish I could mention all of them, and I would like to thank all of them individually. But I will limit myself mentioning three or who cannot listen to this speech because, alas, they passed away premature like Nicola. Guido Altarelli, Roberto Petroncio e Giovannino Paladin. The last reasons, but not the least, I am proud of this prize is my great admiration for the founder, Riccardo Wolf, not only because his technical and scientific achievement, but also for his human personality. The interest of mankind and friendly relation among people appearance in the, goal, in the goals of the Wolf Prize, but uh, the interest of mankind and friendly relations among people are recurring themes in the life of Ricardo Wolf, as shown by his relevant financial support of the Cuban Revolution during the Batista uh, dictatorship and his activities as Cuban ambassador to Israel after the revolution, bring, uh, constructing a peaceful bridge between these two, uh, two countries. 
I am deeply honored to be put in relation with these great men. Thank you. to congratulate Professor thank Giorgio you. Barisi and to thank Wolf Foundation, as well as students, <laughs> academy, and civil authorities. Grande Giorgio. Grazie. Grande Giorgio. Grande Giorgio. Ciao. 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 Do you want to take another picture uh, with all the, without the phone?